What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of our career here on EA Sports PGA Tour. If you missed the last few videos, then you missed probably one of the best comebacks, one of the best performances, one of the best moments I've really had on this game up until this point. We competed at TPC Sawgrass for the players, and we pulled off really the absolute unthinkable. We, we went into the last round about six shots off the pace, five shots off the pace, and we somehow managed to put together a 10 under round final round at TPC Sawgrass in tournament conditions and pulled off a win. And it wasn't an easy win. We went into the day like the fifth or sixth group before the final grouping. Matsuyama was tied with us when I finished. He had about five holes remaining and the man nearly bogeyed out to lose the lead, give up the tournament. When we finished, I said, you know what? Let's let's hope that's a playoff at best. And somehow we pulled off the win. So it was a miraculous day. It was such a fun event. I can't believe that we managed to pull that thing off to get our first ever really big tournament win. Obviously we won back at the Florida Classic, which is at the fantasy course, but to pull off our true first PGA Tour win at such an iconic, major like event obviously not one of the four majors but one of the considered the fifth unofficial was really a treat and something that really got the juices flowing and we're getting ever closer to the masters so it's time it, that that was the time to pop off and really put it all together we did not play good in rounds two and three so to pull that off was amazing and today we continue that journey now i did make a promise to you guys when we set up this this career mode we kind of broke it down into sections and said by the time we got to the players if the difficulty felt felt too easy now i, I will say we are playing on 100 percent ai difficulty we are playing at the hardest swing type and the hardest putting but we do have some visual aids to help us like we have the wind indicator we have the backswing um meter and we have the uh alignment the the they call it like the trajectory arc or whatever it is we said by the players, which is about a quarter of the way through the first season, if it still felt too easy, we are going to dial some settings up a little bit and make it a little more challenging. So we've officially crossed that mark and we are starting today with none of that trajectory arc. So it's all going to be off feel. It's going to we're not going to be able to see what the wind does to our ball when it gets to the apex. We're going to have to gauge that on our own. And then we also made another commitment that by the middle point, so by the PGA Championship, if it still feels like we're we're doing way better than we should which i don't think we are obviously we have a number of top tens as you can see below i still think it's it's still going to be challenging to beat these 100 percent ai if it still feels a little bit you know a little bit on the easier side we'll just dial something else up whether it's getting rid of the backswing meter so you can't see where you are in your in your swing or follow through and i think that'll be really exciting but for now we've gotten rid of the trajectory arc this is my first time i'm ever playing with that off in this game i think it'll add for a nice new challenge we are actually going to skip the Pacific Championship down at Brandon Dunes Golf Resort. As you can see, we've played eight straight weeks. That's a lot of golf. Even, even for being a video game, nobody would ever play that many straight. Now, obviously, some of you guys might be like, well, it is a video game. Why don't you play every event? You know what? I've played a lot of golf. I've, I've recorded a lot of videos. I want to start getting to the tournaments that I want to play. Now that we have a couple wins under our belt, I'm think it's safe to withdraw from this event it's it's kind of a made-up tournament this doesn't exist in real life we'll withdraw from that one see who wins the pacific championship we have qualified for the ea sports championship which is obviously another made-up event however it is at a very difficult golf course down at university place in washington it is chambers bay this is a very very difficult golf course even in the game where we're seemingly doing very well this will be a true test now that the swing arc is off so we're going to dive right in for week 10. we obviously have all of our under armor gear on we've switched our, our outfits for these next four days and this video will be the first two events down at chambers bay so wind is is not the worst right now it can pick up around here but you'll see how crazy the fairways the the amount of sand there is out there the crazy elevation changes so i'm really excited to dive into this one ea sports and, and as always thank you guys so much for all the love and support PGA recently the, the growth we've seen on all of our channels whether it be youtube tiktok whatever it might be you guys have absolutely crushed it and i appreciate all of it last week's video was popping off and it rightfully so that was such a fun video to record and it was extremely exciting to get that win when i really did not think we were going to get that win so now we got to keep our foot down we have two weeks to prepare before the masters we know that's going to be a challenge that's really like 
that's like the cream of the crop playing at Augusta on true difficulty. So here we go. As you can see, we have no trajectory arc, so we're kind of just eyeballing it. Again, wind isn't that strong today, so we, we shouldn't have to worry about it too much. We will aim down the left side. Let's just get off to a hot start again. You never know what can happen around here. So a little bit of an overswing. The wind is still somewhat gusty, but we will find the right side of this fairway off tee box number one. So good start after Always a nice miraculous win at uh, TPC Sawgrass. That's going to be a good one to get this tournament started. But, you know, I I'm completely honest with you guys. Like I said, we will we'll hit those checkpoints and adjust, you know, the difficulty. Even though we're playing at the hardest Second difficulty, there's still settings you can turn off or adjust to make it even more challenging. So I think we will rock... Pin in the middle, so it's a green light. I think we'll rock, rock a P wedge here, but we'll take a tiny bit off of it. The wind will help get this to the flag. Slightly downhill. I may have taken off too much. No, this actually looks to be pretty good. Just a little bit right. Yeah, not bad. That'll be a difficult putt, but n not bad uh, at all. Good shot. Safely on the um, and a birdie chance. Yeah, I've seen a number of people comment, and you know, I will always comment back and explain things. I just find it very away. hilarious that people say, "Yo, you're playing on easy difficulty. Like, what is this?" I'm not. I've shown you guys my settings. If you want, you can go back to the first three videos where we showed it every single event. I'm playing on 100% AI difficulty. I'm playing on the hardest. I think I can even show you right now. Yeah, hard, hard swing meter <clears throat> would be the next thing we turn off at the championship. Power boost off, spin control off, shot shaping off. That that one is like the cream of the crop. If we turn that on, that is when we feel the most confident. So that, that could be a difficult one. Lie effect on, so our, our lie is going to affect the shot. We have zoom on, which is another thing we can turn off later down. Aiming arc is now off. There is no putting assist. It's just pointed at the cup. Putting read off, putting grid, all that sort of stuff. We're playing on hard difficulty just because I can shoot or I have shot. I don't know what these greens are going to do. This could just be a, a shot in the dark here, guys. Woo! Good start. Good birdies. So just because I shoot birdies or have a one round 10 under, that was the first time I've ever shot 10 under in this game out of how many rounds? What? We've done eight rounds, eight times four, plus all of the rounds I've done offline and for online tournaments. That's the first time I've ever shot 10 under. To say that it's unrealistic or I'm playing on arcade, feel free to keep saying that. I'll correct you guys. Like, I'm not, and I'll keep showing you that if I have to. Ooh, this is a tight fairway here. So this is what I'm talking about, Chamber. Chambers Bay is terrifying. A really good chance, too, to get off to a good I think start. we'll club down and just try and get it near this hill here. And if we can have it roll over the backside, then we should still be down there, you know, 280. So good drive here. Monster T-ball. So we, we saw this club really help us out at the, the last few rounds of, of Sawgrass. And, and round, I mean, we just carry that 268 and this is rolling a two. long way. So this is a three wood that we got in perfect position, rolled out to 321. That just shows you how fast Chambers Bay can really be. This is a so difficult right course, guys. Or so, this is second. We've kind of locked in with not a lot of wind coming off that, um, coming off that, that bay right there, so. It should be pretty scorable. I, I didn't really see what the leaderboard's at, so we got a 60 degree finesse shot. Ah, I kind of clipped it bad. It should roll back a bit. Yeah, it tried to. So one thing I don't know if you guys noticed, but no um, there. Really good approach this shot. EA now, Sports dropped another silent for, patch. They didn't release any patch notes. Two, I'm on PC third, getting 140 slow, frames right now. That's the best I've gotten this in this game. I, I don't know if other people who play on PC have noticed it. Inc it's very big increase in performance. Not that, not that I was ever experiencing that bad of a performance, but right now it's, it's playing really well. As we have a down the hill putt, right to left. Got to give this one enough pace. This is going to, or enough break. This is going to snap really hard back to the left. Yes. Can't ask for better starts around than this. Let's go. That is a, that's a dream start two. right there. That's a putt that we probably shouldn't be making. <laughs> like. 13 now, Frank, and 
I love how I just spoke about how I'm not playing on arcade and I just made that putt look easy, but I, I, I promise you guys, I'm playing on hard. Anything in the middle of the green you can putt to the corners, well, if you can call them corners. Look, I mean, it's a video game at the end of the day, guys. If you play the game enough, you're going to understand the game. You're going to get better at it. And it's up to you to adjust the difficulty. Just to, to say I shouldn't be shooting a certain score because you don't think I should be. At the end of the day, I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, I, I enjoy all the feedback and you guys are allowed to think what you want to think. But I'm enjoying the game. I don't think it's overly easy because we're playing on that 100% AI difficulty. I hope this is enough club. It looks like it is. Whoa, that bounce was way harder than I thought it would be. I just realized I'm chewing gum. Excuse me. I hate I hate chewing gum when I'm right, recording. Apologies. On the green, chance for birdie. Yeah, I mean, up. hey, I've enjoyed this playthrough a lot this already. A yeah, it's my first season, and yeah, away. it's like, would a rookie really win two events already through? What is this? Ten. This is our tenth event on the schedule. We obviously skipped last week, and, and maybe the answer is no. But it's a video game at the end of the day, guys. Like. It's it's not going to like can I have agreed with a lot of people where I think I think this is going to snap even more than that. I've agreed with a lot of people when I say, oh, my gosh, we almost dripped our third one in there. What a putt. Yeah, I've agreed when I've said, you know what, there's things that EA can do and tweak to make this more challenging. I, I fully agree with that. I've said in my review, the rough doesn't do a whole heck of a lot in this game. It almost feels like you're hitting out of the fairway, even when you're in the rough. It, it should add more difficulty to the shot, depending on where your ball is up below or, or like how buried it is. I think sand shots are a little too easy. Uh, I think wind is a good factor, but they should add weather into this game. Like I've talked about all that in previous videos and my review. But for me, like, I don't know, winning that players after like not lying to you guys, I fully did not expect to win that tournament. Even after shooting 10 under, I thought at best we had a shot of making a, uh, a playoff with Matsuyama because of how well he was playing. So to see him not finish that tournament and make so many bogeys, like, that blew my mind, and you probably saw it. That was a genuine reaction. I truly did not think we were going to win that, and that was super exciting. And you guys can feel, you know what? Like, if you thought it was stupid or that should never have happened, then, hey, like, feel free to think like that. That's on you guys. That's I'm having a blast side. playing this career mode, and I think it's a very good career mode. Yeah, that's a and let's nice just continue it, baby. Screw it. Is. Screw them haters. Shot that uh, not even haters, just, just people that are saying the game is uh, is a little on, on the easy side, or, but... It is what it is. You're not going to be able to please everybody. Just like I, you know, I'm a very big advocate for I don't understand the Frank, divide the between 2K and shot at the PGA hole. players. Wow, this is way reach, uphill. Um, Let me just focus on this shot quickly. Right the bunker, 42 sort of feet uphill, right, four right side, mile per hour wind in our face. You. So it's going to snap There's back to the left. Or not snap, but it's going to move to the left. Eight iron can definitely have the distance to get there. This is where the game gets difficult or this this course gets difficult because if this isn't the right club, and it's not high enough and doesn't come at a steep enough angle. You're in that dirt and that's so hard to get on the green. But I'm confident that this is enough club to get to the to flat part of that green. Go! Oh my! I I thought that was perfect. Okay, it at least rolled down on the flat that's stuff. So we can... We, we have a shot Good out of here. If it landed on that hill and stayed or plugged, we would have been in trouble. But... Now you can see Chambers Bay in all its glory. So I can't see what's going on here. I think we just got to throw it past the pin and make sure we get it out just because of how big this lip is. And hopefully we can pick this cleanly and get it on the green. So not having a, not having an arc to see how far it's going. That's where you have to judge it based on feel. And I think we played that pretty well. Eight feet, five inches to the pin. Can't really ask... For much better than that we got a downhill putt it'll go a little this bit to the right at the end i think it's pretty straight other than that down the hill very good look at uh, at the course and, and chambers bay off in the corner there it's a beautiful course it's very unique it's such a <laughs> do you see that ball curl back to the hole how did that not turn it literally just did a donut coming back towards all right well that uh, that just shows you how very difficult because now this is definitely breaking right to left back up the hill. So I'm really surprised it didn't break going down the hill. All right. Well, that sucks. 
Wow, what a difficult now, hole that was. One under par. Um, but yeah, anyway, just to wrap up that whole conversation, I'm a big advocate for fans of 2K don't need to come for the throats of fans of EA Sports and vice versa. If you like one game more than the other or you think one game's not good, that's fine. You don't have to share that on every single form of social media because people aren't going to care. And if anything, you're just going to start an angry conversation for no reason. Just enjoy the game you play. If you don't want to play this game, don't play play it that's as simple as i can put it there should not be a great divide between two games that are only allowing the space for golf games to grow that's the thing i don't understand is it's like okay you don't like this game that's fine but you know what this game does is it offers unique differences that 2k doesn't have you know what 2k does offers unique differences that this game doesn't have how can that help each other Pretty obvious. No they can, here, if one needs to compete against the other, they're going to add features that rival the other game. So I think it's good that there's two games in this space now. I think it's long overdue. Is this game perfect? No. By no means is this game perfect. But I'm enjoying it. Let me enjoy it. But I'm done with that rant, guys. I just, again, I, it's, it's not, I'm not mad or anything. I just find social media comments a little, a little funny just because... You know, we played our hearts out last week and then have people just say that the game sucks because it's too easy and you should never be able to shoot 10 under. It's like John Rom literally shot 10 under in last week's tournament the same day I recorded that. Oh, please sit. Wow, that went far. Is the five mile per hour wind that strong? That was an uphill shot. Well, as an old baseball announcer once said, that's a bad going, shot. Going, gone, goodbye. That's a bad shot. And now we got to throw a flop shot up there. And we have not been good with this this shot in the last two tournaments. This used to be a staple for us and, and probably the meta shot of this game. And really, that's not that great of an effort. However, we get it level with the flag stick. We'll have four feet back in. Cannot afford to drop another shot on two straight holes. So this one is imperative down the hill, right to left. It shouldn't be that much. You can hear the wind blowing. Yeah, so it's definitely the there. I think it might be a little bit stronger than I'm probably expecting for five mile per hour wind. I think it's just that there's such elevation that the ball is in the air longer as Sam Burns drops a, a four under 66. It's a really good score around here. Frank, where are you looking to land the ball off the tee here? All right, let's get dialed in. We're, we're still under par. We've got two birdies, one bogey. That's a pretty good start out here. But yeah, see what I mean? Like even this one is a nearly 30 foot drop. The ball is going to stay longer. I think that four mile, four or five mile per hour wind is, is probably acting more closer to 10. <laughs> It's an okay drive. I was a little quick on that one. Off the tee. Yeah, I mean, your your hang time on these are like six, seven seconds. Maybe not that long, but it's still a long, long time in the air. 300 yard carry, 331 rollout. So you got this link style fairways where they just hey, roll and they're hilly and, the and all that. So here, here's an interesting here shot. Five mile per hour wind. It's going to move back to the right. Green. It's uphill. Really, what happens if you miss. really it's it's close right. to the same distance we had on the last one with the so eight iron, except it's a little bit flatter. So this yeah. should be plenty of club. We don't really have to worry about bunkers in front of the green. If we miss hit, that's a different story. This looks pretty good. It's a little long, but it should catch that hill and maybe try and roll back. Come back down off that hill. Come back down off that hill. Oh, That's I just could not shot. get enough spin and on this. Too, a green and Unlucky. This is a What's really footer. exciting me about this video right now is not the fact that we're playing at a beautiful course and we just won our, our first big event. It's the fact that the game is running flawless right now. EA needs to release patch notes because I don't know when the patches come in other than I open Steam and I'm like, oh, hey, a patch. This game is running flawless right now. Like, I mean, literally flawless. I'm getting 160 frames right here. That's the most I've ever gotten in this game. Good for them. I mean, they've taken a lot of heat. Nope. All right, I'm just misreading all these putts a little bit. That's just not the greatest, but yeah, EA is obviously, it takes a lot of heat. And I think this game was better than people. Now, don't get me wrong. I can't speak for console there. folks. I feel for you guys not getting anything higher than 30. Let me know in the comments. Is that still a thing? Do they even release the 60 FPS update for you guys? That's got to suck. And I can understand people's frustrations if that's the case. But right now and on this course, this is a beautiful day out here right now. Such a fun course. Very unique. 
plus all that uh, amazing bunkering down. And I also got to give a shout out to all the people that are just leaving really, comments in general, good or bad. Like the feedback, screen, yeah, like I said, the growth that, that we've experienced by yards, playing this play video game is truthfully something I didn't expect because I'm not. Oh, it's going a little bit more left than I thought. Should be okay. It's going to roll though. Um, the the amount of growth and, and feedback that I've gotten. I'm not a golf streamer or, or content creator. I never was. I've First played these games, today. but I'm a variety. Like, I, I'm here uploading the Star Wars Jedi Survivor playthrough, which has been a lot of fun. Okay, we definitely have to club up here. I might even need to club up twice. Um, but just, just seeing how many people like watching this playthrough and have given me, like, words of encouragement and just saying how much they like it. I see all that stuff, guys, and it, it does mean a lot. Ah. Maybe that I, I I still think that was the right club choice. I think I just need to take a little bit off of it. So kind of just not reading Certainly this course. This is my first time playing Chambers Bay touch. on this this game, or second time. I think I did a course. Did I do a course review for this yet? I can't remember. I think I did. Um. But yeah, I just appreciate all you guys. So j just know that like, well, there's people that you know offer negative feedback. I still see all the good feedback. And I appreciate it all, so. Hopefully you guys keep enjoying it, because I'm in, I'm loving making it. Like I said, I think this is a very well thought out career mode. There's a couple things that I wish One they the added, like actual sponsorships. Obviously, we were two. wearing, other than the hat, we're wearing use of the all uh, Under Armour gear. Really kind of signed a, a fake contract with Under Armour, and we're going to play that out for the foreseeable future. But I do wish that they, uh, they added real contracts in the game. You can obviously do the challenges, but it's, I don't know. Signing a, a sponsorship and then doing like, oh, Michael Webb, what did oh, you just do? No, are you are you really gonna putt like that hurt. after a performance we had two weeks ago? This Come on. Five foot putt here. Jeez. Not only did I misread that, I hammered that oh, putt. Well read. That's Ian for a All right, well five. back to even for us. Okay, I need and to shut up and concentrate because that's actually a, a horrible bar. display of putting right there. I actually. <laughs> I mi not only, like I said, did I misread it, but I was like 2% fast on the follow through for a putt. How's that even possible? And I will say this, not having the apex is actually kind of challenging. Just because when it is windy, you can't tell what it's doing. You kind of have to guess. Look at this hole. Look how, like this is on the side of a massive hill. It's not a mountain, but it's a huge hill. And it literally is just looks like a runway right up the side of it. That is so cool. But for us here, we're going to aim well on the left side. The wind should kick it back. Even if it doesn't, we should land off the hill and bounce towards the fairway. What an interesting course this is. So cool. I feel like I hit that one really well, and it still came out way more right than I thought. So once again, I think the wind is a little more uh, gustier. And this one rolls all the way to the, the rough. So, so 334, we had 54 yards of rollout. Just got away a little bit on that tee ball. But again, this is this is where I agree with you, with a lot of people. I don't understand how I'm in the rough. You can't even see my ball, yet it says that it's still a perfect shot. Like I I I gotta I gotta criticize EA a little bit and say a golf ball that far down in the rough should not have zero nearly zero impact on your shot it just wouldn't plain and simple i don't care where you are and like i said they've done a good job going out to these courses and mapping them to almost perfection like the hills look great the roughs look great but if they don't do anything then it's kind of silly and this is a great three wood so something that i kind of changed my mentality of at sawgrass was if it makes sense to go with it go into a par five and there's not a lot of trouble although holy crap That's not going to be good. Huh. Huh. Okay. Well, you just saw... Okay. Is this even going to come out? Okay. <laughs> 
Wow, that just rolled like 200 feet after being on the green. That was on the green. All right, that's Chambers Bay for you, ladies and gentlemen. And just as I had a speech saying, I've changed my mentality about when to go for things and when not to, is this going to roll back down too? Oh God, please stop. Hey, we should be okay. Yeah, just so hard to get it out of there. As, you, as I make that speech, our ball just completely, oh my gosh. Okay, well, and now we go back to my other mentality of that'll never happen again because I'm not going to do that ever again. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, Chambers Bay is, is, can just make you feel like a freaking moron. That's a really good flop shot for once. All right. Good well, chance to save a good, after good recovery. And like he shot. said, we got we to trouble there at one stage. Uh, well, I guess when you look at this angle, you can see how elevated that is. I just thought if we could hit that, it would come up the green. But unfortunately, it hit that with so much speed that, that then caught the left side of the, the or I guess from our other angle, it would have been the right side of the green and just Dude, that ball, no joke, went probably 200, okay, that probably like 150 yards of movement left to right after landing 10 feet from the green. Chambers Bay in a nutshell. <laughs> wow. Really good mix of holes here at Chambers Bay and Frank. All right, we well, this front side. that we won't happen again because we'll definitely lay up on that hole. Long par, five. par three, 224, two, elevation uh, change of like 100 two, feet here. Hundred feet this is just going to be like a little pick right shot, 129 feet. Course, so definitely not using a four range. iron or a five iron uh, here, though, or a six iron. Daunting, you know, well <laughs> no the right joke. Side, this might seem stupid, but I think an eight iron might be the right club here. It might be seven iron, but I think with 150 feet, of elevation change this is a gorgeous view of of the area i gotta think an eight iron can get there well let's just give it a try i mean like i said when you're playing this course for the first time in your career you kind of just have to uh make some educated guesses and see if you're accurate look at this thing and a eight iron was the right club if i hit that a little bit more to the right that would have been very close to the pin and it's gonna catch this slope and get better and better keep going let's go Let's go. Solid so, shot and sometimes might have been an educated guess, but around, it was the right one. We'll the Let's go. That that's a great shot into this feet away. into the screen. We got downhill the putt. They have been fast, so I'm gonna take quite a bit off this. Even if it ends up short. I mean I've rammed every downhill putt so much further past. I'm not gonna play as much break because I've been really wrong on that too, although it will snap towards the cup. So if we get the speed right, this should be the right lie line. Oh, that one just gonna all right. On I mean, an OK read probably could have had a little bit more pace on it, but up the hill again, right? Slight right to left. Not much. Just ram it in the back of the cup. But for okay, for a green, that's, part, you know, 150 nine. feet below where you're and teeing off from. I'll take a part. I'll take a part there every single day on this front side. So I don't entirely Frank, what's the play uh, remember what's on the back nine here, but that is a very good start. Obviously, a couple stupid bogeys, but a couple, couple good birdies to start off the round gave us a chance to remain at even. And uh, now we're just going to take another rip at this downhill. And that really sets yourself up with a, a yeah. That's nice that's a straight wedge. arrow right there. That is a beautiful tee shot. This should end up absolutely perfect. 303 yard Ooh, carry again all of our distances will be elevated just because of the hill. elevation changes so if you're downhill you're going to get another you know 10 15 yards of carry and then a whole bunch of roll out a great shot there sets us up just for for another to go now, beautiful so flip wedge almost not quite a full swing let's just see if we can we are on a side hill so we're gonna aim a little bit more left wind will push it more right let's just see if we can't land another one of these wedges close our last one was really good they should land soft, although the greens are very firm. So one hop Early stop, a little little too strong there. The wind probably helped now that. This for birdie. Now this for birdie at ten. So and down this the hill. Look too complicated at all. I don't think he needs to give away the hole. This is pretty straight on. I kind of agree with Nabilo because we got two, or sorry, um, uh, Nota Begay. You got two lines going to the left, two lines going to the right, and they're both pretty identical speed. So I think we could just aim this one pretty straight and hope that it just stays straight and goes to the back of the cup. This would be a great birdie. Not to be a little short, but a, a good effort there. 
Oh, so those first few holes that we we dropped bogey on the front nine really the downhill putts so really scared me away from them from hitting these putts side. firm and getting them to the cup. That's two straight I've left part. short. That's okay. Again, this is all kind of like note taking on day one here. Set to tee off just gotta hole, just gotta stay true to what we do. I mean, yards. Frank, how do you play damn, this with a that was such a good opportunity to get one <laughs> back. To play, I'm gonna aim right at this hill. Down the left more for scenic rather than I might actually add a really uh, a bit of a fade the, here, to be honest. I might just fade it away from just, that, uh, and if we I catch said, the hill, June, and then, uh, really there's, there's a perfect time to, to try and put a little bit of a right shot shape level. on this. <laughs> it should come back, which it is. That's a beautiful looking tee shot. We carry that mound. Wow. So... This is driver's paradise. If you can hit straight shots here or even shape some shots with your with your driver on this course, you're going to be rewarded tenfold. Like, that's 188 yards to the flagstick from a monster drive. To where the hole is cut, just about 190 yards. That's the thing about Chambers Bay is it's really long holes, but when you take off so much of it off the tee box, I think I'm actually... I think I'm going to go at this with an 8-iron. My 8-iron has been pretty close to that 170 mark. We don't have to land it at the flag we can land this about a 165 yard shot have it roll up they we we know that the greens are playing a little bit more firm uh similar to the fairways so i think we can take a little bit off this land it at the front of the green and it should release i say should yeah it needs to turn though there's hills here what a gorgeous kick that was that is not how I exactly drew it up. That was almost That's perfect well distance. Played. Maybe need well, a little bit more or a little less than that. But what a miraculous bounce. Sometimes I said this at Sawgrass. Sometimes it pays to be lucky. All right. We got a little bit of a left to rider here. Probably a cup outside the left. That The beginning is going to spit it to the right. So we'll play for about a cup, cup and a half to the left. Hopefully we get the speed right because we have been leaving these downhill putts short. And it spit it out way more to the right, so That's gonna nearly it. lipped it in. Oh, man. I, I feel like I'm not even putting that that bad. It's just everything is just slightly off, whether it's so speed, whether it's slightly off at the break. We're through 11 holes, and we're still at even at Chambers right, Bay. Again, very difficult golf course. We've got to kind of take what we can get at this point. The 12th here at Chambers Bay is known as the Narrows. I mean... If this doesn't really terrify you, I don't know what will. This this no fairway is what 30 yards wide, 40 yards fun. wide, you can drive it over that through this this canyon, but it screen. is a drivable. Just for an eagle. It is a drivable par four. We don't have too much trouble given the fact that it's all significantly uphill. So even if we run it through the green, it should collect at that back. I don't even think we're going to get it to the green. So I, I think we can take dead aim at this one. I was wrong on that par five. I, I'm looking around and you, when you got gutters, like a bowling, this is basically a bowling alley is what they should have called this. Put some extra juice on it, hit it with good tempo. Well, that's on a pretty good line so far. Ah, well, we got it to the green. It probably will run through, although we're going to catch this slope and it's going to kick back. <laughs> oh, man. Did not expect it to be that good. Drivable but that's a great four, shot right there. And a big fist bump coming out of the field, young man. For this guy, and now we yes, again have a chance to, to, to get an eagle. And then if if it should, let's just... Right now I'm playing to just avoid this slope going back down the left and just get it down there to try and have a shot at a birdie. Getting one here would be, would be monstrous given that it's a very drivable par four. So it should kick off that hill. Okay, well, we just missed it on the low side, but... Right what you want. Yeah, honestly, a very, very good putt there. Read that almost to perfection. Now we just got to slide up the hill putt. Two feet, left to right. And we will finally get back to the red figures with a birdie on number 12. Took advantage of the distance off the tee. And landed that. I mean, catching that hill and rolling to the flat part of the green was chef's kiss.
Now at the 13th hole here at Chambers Bay and Frank, this one bends. All right, par right. four, par 534. Four. So again, very long, but we'll elevation change makes anything Ideally, seem longer. Down the left side of the fairway with this the, one with is uphill off the tee shot, there though. So tee shot is crucial, and I think we're going to fade this one a little bit again. Keep keep the wind helping us rather than hurting us towards the right. And you are not losing. The beautiful fade shot there. That is immaculate right there. Get a little bit of extra friendly roll with that. It should roll out over 300 yards for sure. Up on the top there. of this hill, 322, 209 left. So <laughs> this one is a lengthy par four. Eyes wide open there. Pretty flat spot we left this. I don't think a six will get there. So I think we're going to have to play. But I think we're going to play a high sweeping draw off this hill. Just see if we can land it near the flag stick. This is this is a delicate shot because we have trouble all around the green. Big hills. So a high draw. You see it start to draw. It looks to be on a perfect line. Again, with firm firm greens, that's about as, as good as you can stop it with a with a long iron. So that's the thing. If if you've ever found yourself in a position on a real golf course where you got a full a full a swing, point, full iron in, in and you know that it's real. playing it's fast. If you're able to try and play a little bit of uh, of a towering shot so that the angle is a little more steep so it lands a bit softer and uh, more more likely than not, you'll be rewarded. So here we go. Another down the hill putt. Seems like I haven't left myself with very many uphill putts. Down the hill, right to left. I've hit it well, but it's just going to... Got he heard somebody in the crowd say left it out, it. and I did leave it out. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was just a random thing or if it actually saw what my putt was going to do. But again, I can't be disappointed with pars okay, around so here. Par you know the leaders 13. are also struggling. And he'll remain right where he is. All right, so Scheffler, the boy who competed with us in the last right couple of events, won goal. the Arnold this Palmer, came second at the players, at has Chambers now managed to, to sink to four under par, and has got himself at the top of the leaderboard. Their game or off their game. Man, and my allergies are so bad yards, right now. Uh, it is, can be short and considerably it is to take a so... Line down the left side. Oh, we're you taking the brave line. 127. Yards. This but is clear in the bunker hit, easily. The Another one where you just gotta, really got to gotta hit which and hit it on the right line and you'll be rewarded because that sort of elevation change, that's not even gonna come into play. We're gonna clear it all. Um, but where, where I live in Toronto, it's been oh, yeah, two weeks of sunshine, 20 degree weather. Yes, it will. Check this A week out. ago it was snowing. Ooh, gonna keep this right week it's going. like five degrees and raining and like the pollen in the air right now is just destroying me. <clears throat> So and hopefully we start seeing some better days. I want to get out and go golfing. I, I can't believe that it's, you know, May 1st. And uh, I haven't I haven't even got the golf clubs into the car. We do have virtual golf right close to where I live, but it's been jam-packed because of the weather. Everybody just wants to, to go. I didn't go as much right. I mean, it was no, slow tempo, 3.1%. Inside 20 feet, I would we'll imagine. take it, though. So a good <laughs> Down really the hill putt for the for 40th bit. time this round. Another right to left. I think this one's going to be pretty harsh right to left. So we'll give this lots of room. Should be good. And same thing as last putt. I just barely missed no, it on the low side. So I think I think I'm fine well. playing the speed like that. Like obviously, if you play a little bit more speed, it'll take some of the break off. But I'd rather. I'd rather oh, just get there. the the, the miss of the, the read a little and bit wrong than blow it past the hole and have a tough putt coming back up the hill. So I'm okay with that. We're still at one under. Cooch is there. I haven't seen Cooch's name on the leaderboard very much in this game. So good to see that Coochers having a really good day here at Chambers Bay. Hole 15, 246, par 3, down the hill again. So it's playing much shorter than that. The only tree on the whole golf course here at this par 3. That lonely tree. I don't even know if this is the right club. 67 feet. I've clubbed down, what, four times? This might even be a six iron. I'm going to play a five and I'm going to play a high shot again. I don't know if this is right. This is an experiment shot. Needs to go a little bit to the right, but I think it's pretty damn good. That's a little short. Okay, so 
Not as not as uh, crazy as that. <laughs> a little confused there. Not as crazy as the last part three where you're, you know, se severely downhill. But out on this part three. All right, we got to make good contact here because there is a lip right in front of us. We want to land it just around the pin. It should stop this. For being a bronze medal, this pick shot has been absolutely our best friend. In fact, it's a shot that I'm probably going to put some more points into when we start unlocking them. Yeah, not bad. I mean, from where we were, I probably could have landed a little bit okay, shorter, but that's a pretty good spot to leave it. What we'll, remain we'll have a putt. This is an up-the-hill putt. Not much, right just slightly up the hill. To the hole. Slightly right to left. Yeah, good par there. Yeah, Real good par. par on a very difficult 15th three. hole, par 15. 3. We head to the last three holes on day right one. He is. Yeah, can't, can't be upset about that. That is absolutely perfect. Getting set to take on a, a pretty good scorecard, too. I mean, we made a couple Bay. mistakes. We could have been 300 right par right. very easily. Well, when you look down this but field, Chambers Bay will punish you if you if you choose the wrong right. thing. Uh, this is one of the most punishing courses the in the world. Right, right, I mean, any Lynx course can really do that um, to you. And then, of course, that green up ahead. Play a little so bit of a draw top, here. So Not that much. Precision here. There we go. Um, is, is absolutely paramount. Yeah, beautiful shot there. This will uh, get back to the right side of the fairway with a good kick. Might even stay right in the center, which Just is totally fine as well. Around. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways. Great hit shot, the big the shot. Place. That's what they did. Right Such there. a fun golf course. I mean, very, very challenging. You don't really know what your ball is going to do once it lands. This but... is why you practice these shots from under 100 yards. You bond right. your drive. Now Here we go. Time for the touch shot. Another finesse 60. Zip it's been working for us this week, which. It hasn't really been working that great for the last few tournaments, so very happy to see that. This is another really good looking shot. There we go. That's what we're talking about, baby. I know it's the second shot golf course. But Let's go. An honest shot. I yeah, very happy with first, that one. That's a great shot. Let's see if see we can't tap. This one to drop here. So a pretty, pretty flat bird. line. Little bit downhill, but it is going to squeak out to the right. So we're going to aim just outside the right. Give it some good pace. And bury it in the back of the cup. Ah, Let's go. Cool that is a yeah, two under par round going, going with two holes remaining. Another very challenging par three. And then the iconic par five to end the day. But this is a great scorecard. Kuchar's in for four under at 66. So out here at Chambers Bay. Seems like you need a sports psychologist. This is you such a cool looking hole. You got all those rock holes. formations Each from the, I, I think it's from the war back there. So many I, like weird things to look at, but very cool things. Um, very weird, but cool, <laughs> which is a weird statement, but all right. Um, so very long. Just a good tee shot that lands around the front there. And you just take a three here. This is not a time to be a hero. Ah, I don't know what the play is. I think I think we're going to play a somewhat high draw and just see what happens with a five iron. I'll tell you, that looks good, but I don't know if it's going to be the right number. Ah, that's not bad. It did get a good kick. It's going to end up in the sand, which is, again, not, not the worst thing. I think that was the right club. I think I just, I just need to go even farther left, or I maybe just take the draw off completely and hit a pretty straight shot. Softly onto the green. Change the camera angle because I can't really see what I'm doing there. Not really sure why it popped out so far to the right. Okay, maybe just a slight miss it, but we'll take that. Sand. Good little shot there. Up a little further, but that's not the worst shot in the world. Yeah, this is down the hill and not moving that much at all. So just going to play it outside the right side of the cup. Should should move back to the center. Yeah, that's, that's a good fun. three. I think we played here, every par three team. at even par today. And around here, that's more than you could really ask for. So we'll take that one, pick up our ball, go to 18, and get ready for the second round. Everyone wants to finish in style. Yeah, so we've got a longer course here, here obviously playing this one. A, a uh, video is running a little bit longer than we're probably was used to seeing. As a walking golf course, and uh, it was designed to have fun. Oh and no! Test every department in your game, 18 will do that. Oops. It probably gives you more trouble on both sides of the hole than any other hole in the golf course. Ah, I did exactly what I didn't want to do, and I flared it left. This needs to get a very favorable bounce to remain in the fairway. Yeah, nothing to fall Oh, it actually balance, did not roll out as much as I thought it would. For for how hole. fast this course been playing, I fully anticipated that going into the sand. So how that ended up short Still is than three bills away as I think I am gonna play this to the one hundred yard. Five. I made a mistake on that one part five. I don't want to do the same thing again, so we're just gonna 
Not even think about it, lay up, get ourselves in a good position over that little weird bunker in the middle of the fairway, have ourselves a wedge in. Our wedge has been working. That that finesse shot has been working absolute wonders lately. So going well up the hill, up so the we, hill we do have to put a little bit more juice on it. I'll probably here. use a 56, aim a little bit out to the right and hope that this lands past the pin and stops. We don't want to be short here. Oh, I was slow. Oh, that slow tempo could have hurt us, but it might be okay. Just off on the fairway. It just came out Probably can putt this Seems depending on how downhill it is. Stop. It's not that downhill. I think I can actually putt this. Basically just need to get it on the green and it should get to the hole. Kick back. Oh my gosh. Oh, just the pace was just wrong. All right. Well, hey, a good two under round to kick off our tournament. Role. Made up for those okay, stupid so bogeys on the front nine. The and that's day one here at Chambers Bay. And so for the EA Sports Championship, obviously kind of a fantasy tournament, but they're strong. They're kind uh, of flagship the for the game. Leader, there's, there's, you know, we skipped this last week because we needed a week end. off, but uh, it's always nice to come to the tournament that the game is created on. It's similar to when 2K has their tournaments. You know, feel only only right that you don't skip those ones. So a good start, though. We'll head into day two here, guys. We got our nice green shirt on. Wind is starting to pick up. It's still not terrible. Projected cut line, 14 over. 14 over. That just shows how hard it's playing out there when there's wind. So... More wind only means more trouble. This is not going to be a tournament where you see guys shoot 25 under par. So if you're hoping for that, this is your video. And let's kick off round two and see uh, to see what we can do. A world golf championship today. Ooh, Taylor Pendrith, eight, four under on the day through eight. So good round by him coming out of nowhere on a day where people are shooting really high scores. He shot really low through eight. It is a race for the top prize for others. It's a fight to stick around for the All right, a morning tea time. Let's go off board. and uh, and get things kicked off. We got a, a driver in hand to start. Wind's not that bad just yet. Point. It'll probably pick up as it gets later in the day. Right in it. Another really good tee shot. Off the pace. Let's just start off strong again. If we get a couple birdies early, then it kind of paves the way to, yeah, that's a beauty there to, to stave off some issues with the, the harder holes later on. I mean, this course really does kick off with some pretty easy, straightforward holes. It's really hard to miss the fairway on some of these. You know, I think the first, like, five holes are pretty straightforward. You got the one really, really glaringly Second difficult par three in there. But say hello to Iona right, last time I took a P wedge and I yeah, was too pin, long. So 136 is the number we're looking for. And that pin, well, it's back left today. I got this one back there, but I think it's too far back there. So yesterday we had a P wedge. So I actually stayed on the green, which is nice. Uh, good shot. Yesterday we took a P wedge and it flew and past. Chance. Today we clubbed down to a 51 and it still almost flew past. On this putt. Slightly downhill, a smidge left to right. Pretty straightforward putt again. We're on the we're on the pretty flat part of the green. Oh, I kind of bobbled this putt. I bobbled it right into the oh, hole. <laughs> Let's yes. go. That's the way to start the day. So we start off back to back days hole. with one under par. And after opening kind of sets up a good good round for the rest of the day. For his round here. Now at the second and a medium length par four, Frank. Yeah, and at the time of this recording, my Toronto Maple Leafs, if you remember from three or four videos ago where I was wearing my jersey, they did it. Somehow they beat the Tampa Bay Lightning and have, and have gone to the second round to face the Florida Panthers who beat Boston somehow. And uh, let me tell you, I'm very excited. We'll be watching that tomorrow night. So trying to pump out as much, as much content as I can. And for those of you who don't know, I work a full-time job. So when I'm recording this video, I'm on my lunch break currently, or I do it just after work or just before work. So <laughs> the grind is definitely real. But like I said, and I've been saying along, when, when you're enjoying making the videos like I am making this this career mode, it's it doesn't feel like extra. Like, like I'm on my lunch break. I just quickly Frank, eat something, hop on here, record for an hour, and then go the back to work. Like it's, here, the second hold you really can't, <laughs> it really can't get better than that for your day. And because of the pandemic, I, I work remote based on my location. On so um, it's a good shot here. It's a real good shot here. Right. Now you realize why they put that so two straight days, we have a chance to go two under through two before we really hit the difficult part of the course. See if we can't bury this one. This be, this be nice. Ah, didn't get the break right. So it looked like it was going to break, but I mean, we played this similar yesterday and it didn't break that much from this part of the green. 
obviously a different flag position, but that all right, that's okay. One under through two, second. no harm, no foul. And he's gonna remain one shot off the pace. Ah, allergy, stop. At the third tee now, Frank. All right, here we go. What are we staring at here? This green is anything what a other beautiful than symmetrical. Hole. Those so bunkers and the fescue very, very just very look so good together. Anything in the middle of the green, you can All right. the corners, uh, Difficult the hole here. We'll have to club down for sure. Tiles, but, uh, beautiful pop three. I actually think a seven iron is enough club. And I'm going to actually help this ball go there with a high towering fade. This is going to be an interesting shot. If, it, if I hit this right, I think it'll be perfect. Well, it's definitely a high towering fade. The wind's trying to get it back there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Get better. Oh man, executed to absolute perfection. On the putting Let's go, baby. Birdie looks straight ahead. Okay, down the hill, right to left. Don't need to take much off of it because it's pretty flat. Two under through three. So yesterday we were two under through two. This time we just had to wait to the third hole. And I mean, when you make a tee shot like that and you have the confidence, so. Uh, it, it, that's a good shot. We, we tie the lead right, right now. Fourth tee, you get a good look, don't you, at what Chambers Bay really is all about. It's framed beautifully, Rich, by the bunkers there, uh, left, short, off the tee, plus the ones down the right side. You can see okay. everything in Let's front keep of going. You, the hole does bend to the right. Starting to get to that part uh, of the course where, where pars will be good. Pars <laughs> will be, be nice. I think fade has been working really well for us off the tee, so... I'm going to keep that mojo going. Just a nice little fade. Nothing too drastic. Another really great tee shot. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Yep. Can't complain with that. 186 left. And this is again. So we played the... We were over on the left side here. And we played the wrong club. Seven won't get us there. So we're definitely going to have to club up to a six. And we're going to have to hit this one on the absolute button. This is where it's so tough because... Seven we know won't climb that hill. Six iron should climb the hill, but now you run the risk of coming at a, at, at a low angle because of how high this is up. Is this even a stop on the green? So it, it's such a testy shot. Like That's where the difficulty is. It's like, well, you know you got to club up to get it up there. This one looks right on point. But I guess it can come off that hill. It's not going to. No way that comes back down through that rough. All right, well, played the backboard and landed it to 10 mm, feet. So, I mean, able to hold the elevated green we messed up yesterday. Good look at slightly down the hill, right play. to left. We messed up yesterday, and now we got a chance at a birdie. So, complete change of pace from, from day one. Wow, I'll tell you. Uh, good run three under here. par through four Early, here is, is, is a godsend. I can't believe four. we just had that. And with it, we played that backboard to perfection. The and here on just like that, Friday. we're in the lead, guys. A lot here of people still the golf. Sure Obviously, the guys that short, shot four under par, four. none of them have teed off yet. I mean, are you kidding? So I, well, I, I'm pretty be, confident uh, that this won't be the lead at the end of the day, but I'm pretty happy to be three under at this point in, in the golf tournament. Wide, but, uh, you'll see it's, it starts we got another big, big drive here. This should go an absolute right. mile with helping wind. Exactly Look for a close to 400 control. yard drive right here. Look at how towering that is. It is coming at a steep angle, so it's not going to roll out that much. This well, we did catch this hill. So far, and that's another great drive. This might be another close to 400, folks. To make another birdie. 391. Oh, so close. We've, now, I think we've only rolled out once yards, in, in this game. Down his All right, second. here we go. A 56 degree. Get good contact. Should be enough club. Oh, I've hit it left. Ah, still not bad. Kind of miss hit it just a smidge just a tiny bit right at the end of the follow-through you'd love that to do over there wouldn't you okay yeah, it's, it's not just, that bad very poor from that range okay calm down it's not that bad up the hill right to left pace is everything we do not want to catch that slope behind the cup oh please stop how is that so fast it was up the hill i didn't kill it that much did i did i put way too much on that it said that it was pretty severely up the hill Okay, then how's this up the hill? I don't understand these greens. That means the hole is on a freaking plateau. All right, well, now this is right to left, back up the hill. 
Yeah, that first putt was weird. Was I fully did not expect fifth. to hit it, you know, this will stay six feet past on an up-the-hill putt. Especially when I've been slow with the down the hill, so. Kind of a uh, brain fart, I guess, on that putt, but. Testing par four, long one. Par four, yes, another long one, nearly 500 yards, field. but. Just use those mounds, big drive will uh, will clear some of that off. Um, whole I'm gonna keep with the little bit of the fade. It's been it's been really helping us here. Everything is in front of you. Well, I'm not sure how this one just popped straight out. I guess somewhere the overswing, I guess, hurt that one a bit. It's probably going to stay in this rough. I mean, that that shot looks pretty so good, and it came out straight right. So, rough, so just I guess that overswing, today. With the, that's what I'm talking about with the shot shape. It doesn't always go perfect. Six. Oh, God. Now we have a now we have a choice. Do we go with a really strong 8-iron out of the rough or a soft 7-iron? I think a soft 7-iron. I mean, can't even see the flagstick. This is a blind shot, as blind as you can be. I don't know why you're looking that way. Hit it okay. Oh, God. Come back off that backboard. Please. Oh. Um, that and that's why the rough doesn't make sense, stuff. you guys. Like, why does the rough not help that ball not pop out? Like, everything out of the rough is a flyer lie. It just... EA, please address your rough. I'm begging you. And now this is this is the most delicate shot I have ever hit in this game. A flop shot on a downhill lie about 15 yards to the front of the green. I mean, not bad, really. It's better than trying to chip that or pitch it down. Oh god, is this for this is for par, right? Well, it's definitely right to the left pretty severely. Slightly down the hill. I think this is good. That, that was right all the way. Still so fast. Like, I can't seem to get the downhill pace right. Sometimes I'm so slow, sometimes I'm just incredibly fast. Okay, and it's a bogey here at number six. Ah, uh, bogey at six today. That's gonna drop him back to four under par. Still not bad. We're still two under par for the day. That that seven iron just should never have come right, out that juicy from challenge. from the deep rough. Tall, just shouldn't. Four, it's over I, I know that, so I can't really use that as an excuse. I know that the game is not gonna take that much off of it, but like, come on, yards. man. Obviously, that's to be avoided. It's got to take then, of something the off it. The Otherwise, what the what the hell is the point of rough in this game? Really, why this hole's called humpback? Um, but then a little bit like the golf course, pretty good looking tee shot. Oh God, about, what? Enough green left of that. Really, point three of an underswing and left that it short. One gonna be into the bunker off the tee. Oh, we're crumbling here, folks. Gonna have to flight this a long way. Yeah, we're, second we're, out of the bunker. We're gonna have to club up twice. We're in the sand. If see sand does it okay, 85 to 29 percent. It's 9.5 degrees above. So this should come out as expected. So we're gonna have to club up to a six and just rip this one all the way to the back of the green. Such a weird aim way left because it's gonna pop right. Oh, I I was slow. Hit the hill and go. Hit the hill and go. Get on the green. Stay right there. Not the best shot we've seen today, but when you consider that was set out of the It's okay. Bunker, it's okay. It might, it's definitely not the best shot we've hit, but this, it's it's okay. Brilliant. All right. Well, last uphill putt was super fast. Just to get it up that slope, but overall, little left to right, and then tiny bit right to left at the end. So just outside the left side, up the hill. Oh, get legs! Get legs! No. <laughs> oh, everything has just been minusculely off. Just tiny bit. That one finished off. Just tiny bit off. Just every single seven. one has been just a smidge and off. He'll remain at four uh, and then we get to the hole that I think this is the hole that completely the mind F us yesterday. Five, yep. So we're definitely not going for this one in two because I'm not ending up in that crap again. Tee, but get down there. You're going to realize that's a fairly generous fairway. There's a little bit of mounding in the screen, um, too, that actually slots it back towards the player. Yeah, so I did the same thing here yes or yesterday as well. It just I feel like I'm hitting it well, and it's just popping out to the right so hard. I got a feeling this isn't going to stop either. Yesterday, we were, I'm pretty sure we're in the exact same spot as we were yesterday. And to me, that ball looks buried, no but I bet you it's like 5% off. Rough. 
Yeah, not even. 4% off. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna club way down here. I'm not gonna try and land it right on that hill because I don't want it aggressively jumping off. Alright, that should be safe. I say should. There's no way this runs off the fairway from this point. Right? There's no way this runs off the fairway from that point, right? Oh my gosh. Safely back into the fairway. That was the job at hand, and it's a good end result. He set up for his third shot. Oh, this is a terrifying wet shot. This. I like the looks of this one. Yeah, me too. Oh, he's coming out of the gates today beautifully, and there is another God, chance. this hole is terrifying. Everywhere you look is terrifying. Like, the back of the green early. just looks so scary. Up the hill, right to left. Not a lot to this putt. Should be pretty makeable. Okay, right on line. Get back to, to three under for the day. Five under for the and tournament. Now to and we're trying to put a good score in the get together because once these guys go off, yeah, Sam Burns has already birdied one of the first few holes, so they're going to come out swinging. The, the wind is not that bad yet. Well, the tee is nearly a hundred feet above the level of the green. I think there's so going to be a lot of birdies in the afternoon here, so just got to stay composed. Course, uh, what did we use yesterday? An eight iron? You know, obviously it's I actually think it's going to be one less yards, here because of the wind. The green off that elevated tee. There we and go. Nine iron from 158 yards out, 200 feet above. Hoist away into the air. Oh, it was an eight iron. Just, I needed 10 more yards. 205 oh my gosh that was still not bad i'm, I'm okay with that it's such a just a tricky shot to gauge i didn't need the eight iron there i think it's just gonna be an eight iron no matter where it is that's not a great shot that came out very yeah, right and very bad that all the way to the hole out of the bunker and this is gonna come up a good bit short all right right to left up the hill for a par i can't see it breaking much more than that pace is everything here Nope. Oh, I just shoved it left off the beginning of the face. I wasn't even a mystery. I just pushed it. Well, gave one right back. Okay. Almost missed that punt too. Of the head as that one All right, well, three under or off. two under front nine. And he's gonna fall I think that's that's better than we did back. yesterday. We were even through nine yesterday, so. Cam Davis and now birdied as well. On the tenth, here at Chambers Bay. Can't really, really focus on too many other people. We kind of just got to play our game and, and try and squeak in maybe really one, maybe two more birdies. Although par, I think par and out here would be up. would be really good. Um, you really want to avoid the, avoid those two short bunkers that come in around the three hundred. Uh, my tempo is really off all of a sudden. Really up with a, a, Still, a nice lots of fairway to work with. We should be okay. That's okay. That'll that'll be fine. That is just a beautiful shot. Just and we got to trust our our, our little now. flip wedge in here again. It's basically second. the only shot type we can really use, but the wind might hurt this one, so it's got to be perfect speed. Sit. Sit. It did sit. It's not the easiest spot to leave it. It's going to be down the hill, severely down the hill. But a pretty straight putt, it looks like. This should be a pretty makeable birdie. They tried turning at the end, but we'll take that birdie. That flip wedge has been something of magic this weekend compared to what it was like the last few. It's just... Back to five under. Davis and Burns both bogeyed, it looked like. Or no, Burns was at five. Davis was at six, I believe. A little bit blind, too. There's that big June in the middle of the But they're what? Through three, four holes? We're approaching the, the last little little bit of this golf course. We're going to do the same thing here. That was such a fun shot yesterday. That'll certainly shorten the hole. Here we go. Big fade. It's a little bit of a dog leg to the right. Look at that tee shot. Absolutely gorgeous. Nothing wrong with that. That is a fun shot to hit. Looking for a strong finish. This would be a really fun course Friday to play to and lose a lot of golf balls. Oh, you better believe I'd be losing a lot. Good but it would still here. be very fun to try, you know, those very, very high tee boxes on the par threes. The, the drive where if you hit a drive, it's going an extra 30, 40 yards. All right, a five iron is too much club. Six. 
is six a lot like if i do that that shot where i have that high fade is that going to be too much still i think this might be okay this might be too much do i club down it is uphill though eight feet ah stick with your gut if it works great if it doesn't well we'll learn for next time i'll take a little bit off of it big high towering fade get a good kick that's the right club that is the right club even if it runs out to the fringe, I don't even care. That is the right club, Certainly and that is the perfect shot. Well, not perfect, but you know touch. what I mean. Like, it's the perfect... It's exactly what I wanted it to do. It just didn't uh, didn't hit it fady enough. Oh, I should have putted it, I guess. Oh, these greens are just torture, man. You can't stop anything and on them. That's not exactly ideal. Oops, just unplug my controller. For his par. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. All right. Nablo, you got to calm down, bro. These aren't that bad of shots. Like, yeah, that's not ideal, but why are you ripping me apart? This is a player's champion you're talking about. Okay, now you can rip me apart because I suck at putting on this golf course. That'll drift a couple feet by. Feel free to rip roast me in the comments, guys. This has been a horrible display of putting, especially today. Like, what the heck am I doing? Safely in. It's yeah, hard. Like, don't get me wrong. These are all downhill putts no or, like, really bendy. Wind up a shot back. And, like, I feel like, how many holes are we through now? 18 and then 12 holes, 11 holes of this this round? You think I would learn the break a little bit by now? What's the play here, Frank? Well, we got the short par four that we took advantage of yesterday. I think we got a. Oh, it's there. on the front, no though. I can get a three wood there. Watch this. This is going to be amazing. You can drive it over that bunker that's just short left of this green. Uh, ah, I hit it slow. Oh, God. Land in the flat part of this bunker. Okay. And oh, my gosh. <laughs> I got so Williams. cocky off the T box there. The oh, no. That's okay. Come on, pick shot. Don't let me down. Basically, just need to get this to the front of the green. It should release towards the cup. If we're a little long, it doesn't look like it's that bad because there is a backstop there. So, huh? Mm, not an ideal result. Well, you are seeing the collapse of a player's champion because way. how the hell am I supposed to putt this? Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at Birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion oh, on putts God. like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable This is not makeable. Stop saying that, Nota Begay. If we make this, I'm a god. The fact that I even got it to, to the that, pin that was or just the past it is a yeah, miracle. That, that bunker shot cautious. was horrible. He liked that one again. Oh, I'm I'm bad today. This is this is this is a really rough... I can't believe we're under par. That's all I'm going to say. To get a, to get a par on a drivable par 4 feels so bad. God. All right, well, we got we to gotta, we gotta reset the mind because I'm making mistake after mistake. Compounding mistakes is not what you want to do. What a horrible display of, of golfing all of a sudden. And still to be under par for the day. There is a, a, a fairway that's plenty wide to accept a good tee shot. And then from there on in, it's actually okay, a tee shot there. Second shot Get that back under control. That that's step number one. It's kind of been hitting that ball a little, a little awry the last few, last few holes. So get that one. Speed this up because it's going to roll all the way down there. Let's see. I think we got to get a four to get it back there, but we'll aim way out left because we're on a side hill lie, so it's going to kick out to the right. Want to make sure we counteract that. Wind is going to the right as well, so we're going to even aim a bit. Let's just get this to the front of the green, hopefully, or mid green. I've hit it absolutely perfect. Nah, it just didn't turn the way I thought it would. Tried coming back down off that crazy backstop, but I mean, with the hill coming back up, it's... It's not easy. It's, it's that's hey, I, pl I played right it and hit it to what I wanted so to do. Hot. It just I thought it would turn a lot more than it just did, and it, it did not. So now we have the scariest flop shot because if we land this one past, we're doomed. I can't chip or pitch this because I'm not confident in that. 
land soft. Okay, I don't even care that it's not that close. Well, we 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 avoided the we avoided going back train, down the hill. He's able to get out of here with his par. Well, you might and it's a pretty it. straight putt for the most part. Far from his best. Wow, Frank Nabilo is eating me alive today, and I I guess he has every reason to. How are these putts not turning? Am I stupid? The putting beats like this is and going this back the other way. Putter. All right, I gotta relax. This is actually the first time I've I've been notably frustrated on greens. Uh, nicely judged, though. It's oh here at God! The and he's gonna fall to three shots off the lead. I have uh, I've been very very happy with my putting in most of these videos, and I can confidently say that this is by far, bar none. Is. the worst day of putting that I've had on this video game to date, including the first video I ever made where you guys roasted me in the comments for saying how bad my putting was. I feel like that right now. I don't know what it is. I just, that putt looked like it was gonna, it looked like it was going to turn a tiny bit to the left and it stayed completely straight. Oh no. Oh, I didn't realize I was on power drive. It should be safe, it should be safe. Should be safe. Come on. Stop rolling. And we're in the thick stuff. Mm, a little too I actually much didn't realize that it, it auto set me to power gonna drive. Wind up diving into the heavy stuff. This okay. is gonna be very so here's where we need to, to take a game. moment and it's breathe. Second from a we're still even block. par for the day. We got 191 with helping wind. It's downhill. We have a six iron in hand with 76 to 84 percent rough so heavy rough definitely is effective in this game it's just their normal rough i don't like so if this is 76 percent of 188 shot then that's going to take off you know a good 30 yards the wind i think this is actually a perfect club not gonna lie even this might even be too much because it's it's gonna take quite a bit off the shot the heavy rough it is downhill. This might even be. I'm gonna club down to a to a um to a seven. I might even club down to an eight. Got a bit more loft on this. I think I think this is the right call. I'm really glad we did that. I'm really glad we clubbed down twice. That's a great shot at a heavy rough. Again, with the way my this putting's been, this now, is extremely, extremely terrifying. Demanding putt here. But Maybe it looks like it's going putt, slightly right left. Straight. He's saying it's dead straight. I don't trust Frank. I don't trust Noda all the time. I think it is a tiny bit right to left. So I'm going to trust myself that I still know how to read greens. There's multiple grid beads going right to left. It is pretty straight down the hill, but I think it's going to move a smidge. Damn it, Frank! It moved more than a smidge. Not that time. Pretty good effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. I may have pushed that a bit. The tempo wasn't great on it. No issues there. Oh, whatever. It it's a par. Of Out of that heavy rough. And That's no a par. Stay, a now we got a par three, a par four, a par three, a par five. So three, four, three, five. Sam Burns doing what he needs to do. Last, Hendrith Frank finished the day at four under, so he was off to a rock and start through eight, five, four under through eight, and he finished the day at four under. The back nine is difficult. Also, it really is. In the distance, you can actually see a tree. Um, one of the few that are on the golf course. I think we took a, a, a six iron yesterday and didn't get it to the green, so we'll take a five iron today. Front pin location on the right side. They can play it around 250 yards. It's just a fun par three. But check where that flag is, because uh, sometimes three is a good score here. But yeah, I think five position, is the club. Go straight I probably could have added a, a bit of a, a bit more loft with a high shot. That's going to roll in, isn't it? Unbelievable. Well, that one didn't work out. It didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green. Yeah, I agree. It, sit. Yeah, it, <laughs> it did not stall. sit. That's a good pick shot. Go in the hole. Let's go. Finally got a good yeah, pick shot. Really good After shot. praising that nice type of shot selection all day, it finally pays off. We got a tap in par at another difficult par three. Okay, a what a messy scorecard, guys. 15. I apologize for the putting display that I've given you. We are still one under for the day, so 
somehow through all the adversity we found along these screens, we're still in an okay position. Which is good, because I think I think you're gonna see the win pick up pretty drastically over the weekend. And if it doesn't, then we gotta we gotta capitalize on it. We have to appear that much bigger. Big drive course, here. Then when you hit into this green, you're really going to have to flight that second shot properly. This is yeah, like a big drive there. Run. I felt really good with that one. Tempo perfect. Played a bit of a fade, so we cut off some of the wind. For a strong and that is a long way Friday down there. Set up for the weekend in that beautiful, beautiful tee shot again. Here. So it's everything has kind of been up and down today. I've had moments where everything's felt good, and I've had moments where I feel like I, I can't make yards, anything work. But that is a really good... Really good tee shot to set us up for another one of these 60 degree finesse shots. Something that has been working for the majority of the week. I've hit it slow again, but slow shouldn't affect it that much for a finesse shot. And it rips back, pin high. Let's see if we can squeak another birdie out of this very difficult back nine. It's going to require a good putt here again. Everything has not been moving as much as I thought. So I, I think this is going to move a, a good amount, a cup or two to right to left. It is down the hill. Just give it a good confidence stroke. Let's go. Finally found the center of the cup. And we get back to 200 par. Dear God, what a scorecard. How, how have I dropped like seven birdies and I'm only two, two under? And... Where did Sam Burns just go? <laughs> now a par three, Sam Burns was at the top of the leaderboard. Now he's not even in the top three on that page. So he either dropped down a four under right. and he's tied well, with us he or he really six, messed up where he's out in the golf course, which, hey, we've done the same thing. So at 17, um, difficult par three. You can see the right. bunker there in front. And once again, wind conditions. This is going to probably require one of the best tee shots, especially in the five iron. Got to land it soft. Take a little tiny bit off of it. This is good. Stop, 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 stop. Nah, I mean, five iron is so hard to get it to bite. It's that still a one, great shot. That was perfect. It's just like, a look here for birdie oh at God. 17. And a really tricky look here. Tough side hill putt. He's got to yep. push it out to the right and just let it drift its way back to I the I have hole. no idea how much to, to gauge this. It's going to come back really hard to the left. Eh, that's not bad. I actually thought it was going to be faster than that, to be honest with you. We'll get out of the 17th with another par. Scorecard still no looks... Uh, I mean, hindsight, if you're telling me I shot two under on a very difficult Chambers Bay day two, I would be happy. But the fact that how we got there is just a mess doesn't really leave me with the most satisfaction. But it is a challenging day. You see everybody struggling. Again, I actually can't believe that we're tied for the lead right, lead right now. But that's, that's like I said in, in oop, we are not doing a power drive, change and, that. Uh, it was designed to have that's what we said at Sawgrass, just do what you can do to, to try and will do that. put They're pressure on people and, and you never know what's going to happen with the AI. The hole on the golf course. This needs to go. Holy crap, Mike, what are you doing today? 2% slow with Whoa, a driver in your hand. This? It is another bunker hit off the tee, and that is not the first time we've said Thanks. that. Thanks, I know. It's happened with regularity. Yep, yes it has. Now we got to lay up, but we were going to lay up anyway. And then we hit a perfect, perfect shot out of the sand. Just such a mother effer of a day out there. <laughs> really has not been my favorite day golfing in this game. But yeah, again, that sand is fun in a way because Chambers Bay too, is difficult. It should be difficult. Get back on track. Oh, God. I don't think I can get there with a 51. But I think a pitching wedge might be too much. This is going to be a real soft pitching wedge. It's like a, th a three-quarter swing pitching wedge. All right, well, we well, saved the best for last. Now we have a putt like, uh, what, to take the lead at this moment. Up the hill, slight left to right. Didn't Great fix our ball mark, but this game doesn't do that, shot. so screw it. Birdie opportunity. Back up the hill. Yeah, it's a birdie at the last. 
I mean, second straight round in the 60s. It is a Cam Davis comes back. Shane Lowry, Lowry ties us. Remember, no, I don't even see. I don't even see Sam Burns. So whatever happened to him got him good. Okay, he went plus one for the day. We had three under. That's not even the low round out there, and somehow we're tied for second going into the weekend. So that you just. Ladies and gentlemen, you may have just witnessed the most sloppy two rounds of golf I've played in this game. And somehow, somehow we've managed to still stay in second as we get to level 45 for a golfer, unlocking two skill points. Uh, I'm just going to throw this out there. Chambers Bay is tough. <laughs> Chambers Bay is a course. And to, to just even be tied for the lead right now seems... Or not tied for lead, tied for second because... Um, they took the lead at the end there. I actually really don't know how we just pulled that off. It's kind of like my last round at Sawgrass. It's just like kind of shocked. However, we've made it to the weekend and we have a chance to compete again. And that's, like I said, it's all leading up to that that round at Augusta in a couple weeks. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I gotta I gotta be honest with you guys. That was sloppy. That was not my best work. But nonetheless, the first two rounds are in the past here at Chambers Bay. We can only look forward to the the weekend and the next two rounds and see if we can clean it up because although we're tied for second that was bad and i know we won't win the weekend with that we're just looking for a good round three to start things off wind died down a little bit and we'll be back here for the next one so i hope you guys enjoyed this video the mess that it was uh, again we'll post the good the bad the ugly the score result is fine that the process of how we got there wasn't but we'll be back in the next video part two of the EA Sports Championship out at Chambers Bay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll catch you back in the next one. Bye, guys.